Hi, my name is Nikki Seward and it is July 16, 2013 and this is an update of uh, the construction projects that have been going on uh, in Northern California. Some of them are north of the Delta, some of them are in the Delta and all of these um, result in diverting uh, fresh water away from the Sacramento River. Not all of them are covered in the Bay Delta Conservation Plan. Uh, there's other plans that, uh, you know, flood control or for fish protection, but each time those plans also include uh, water diversion, new water diversion. Um, you can find this PDF at the Delta Revision dot com. Um, there's also savethedelta.org that has the same information. And um, I, if you can just uh, bear with me, I'm going to go through fairly fast a lot of these plans. And you can uh, see this PDF. You'll see I've got it at about 25%. It's a very large poster that was used for something else. And I added it um, so that I could show people what really is going on. I drove over all over Northern California. I've gone and taking a lot of photos. Um, some people went out and took some plane flights to go take some of these photos. And then I gathered the documents so you can see what is already being built. This isn't proposals for down the road. These uh, new intakes north of the Delta or in the Delta are already built. They're just not turned on yet. So my question in all of this is how much fresh fresh water will be left in the Sacramento River to flow through the North Delta if all the current construction projects, uh, the ones north of the Delta, are completed. So why don't you get out a pad of paper and probably calculator and total up the uh, all the new diversion proje projects. Now I'm going to start enlarging and I'm going to kind of go clockwise on this because this covers a lot of different projects at once and I'm going to focus in on each one. This first one here, this is a look at the Red Bluff Diversion Dam. Um, I think I will try and move this over a bit so you can see it. Um, this document right here, this is a sketch of what they've done and it is a fish screen. It's built as a fish screen but it's also uh, diverts water from the Sacramento River just below uh, uh, Shasta and diverts it into um, existing canals and there's a proposal to take some of that water and divert it over to what would be a new uh, sites reservoir. This would be a new private uh, owned, it appears to be, reservoir and it would be taking new uh, water away from Shasta that used to flow on the Sacramento River. So that's one project. Um, this diversion dam has been built but not turned on I don't believe but the size reservoir has not it's in the proposal save this map right here that I have in this document kind of shows you where these projects are generally okay so now I'm gonna go to another project if you look at this map I'm gonna put this map center this this is north of the Delta this region right here is the Delta even though this the the map came from a DWR website and it doesn't show all the waterways of the Delta I wanted to see the the re regions where we're talking about so here's another project I want to focus on it is Folsom um, Lake there is a project being built right now uh, here's an aerial photo taken um, uh, just in the last month and or two and there um, creating a, a huge spillway. I think I put the spillway picture in here. Maybe not. Okay, um, it so that the water from Folsom Dam will be able to be um, uh, let go very quickly uh, in cases of flood, which is great. It, they call it a joint federal project and they're making this huge new spillway. The problem with it is that part of that water will instead go into the McCollumney River system, not into the Sacramento River. And I don't, I don't see any documentation that says it will always go into a different, uh, into the McCollumney system instead of the Sacramento River. So that has the potential to divert a lot of water away from the Sacramento River uh, before. Uh, it uh, can flow through the Delta. 
Um, another part of that project is uh, the remod or the modification of the Folsom South Canal. That is um, from uh, below Folsom, and it takes it in, in a canal across into the Macomb River system or the East Bay mud uh, pipes as well. And I'll show you how those connect with, uh, or have the, the potential to connect with uh, the state water projects as well there. But I'm, I'm, what I'm showing is that the Folsom water would go over to the uh, San Joaquin watershed through the McCollum River system instead of flowing into the Delta as it used to once all that is done. It's called the Flood Protection Project, but it's also uh, primarily a, a water diversion project. So I'm going to point out another one. This is, uh, you see this area here. If you went up the Garden Highway, just take a nice little drive, and uh, it's a very pretty drive. You can just follow Garden Wi Highway, and you will find these new freshwater intakes. One's called Poundstone. Um, there's a Wilkins Slough, but that's not right on the Garden Highway. But uh, So, for example, um, just take a drive along the Garden Highway or drive over uh, north of the I Street Bridge and you'll see there's a, a newer water intake that they uh, talk about expansion. There's a new water intake uh, north of Sac's uh, expanded water take north of uh, Sac State on the Feather River. This particular uh, pounced one is on the Sacramento River and go ahead and take a drive along the Garden ha Highway. You'll see the new super fat levees and the new intakes that are, are there now but I don't know if they're turned on. They're called fish screens. Yes they are but the reason why you have to have a fish screen is because water is being exported and each of these products um, added extra capacity and new water rights to the project. So now I'm going to uh, look at something else. Um, let's see, so there's, those are a couple of the pictures. Um, <coughs> okay, so uh, a couple of the other ones. Um, so this is a picture of the one over in Freeport. You know about that, I believe, um, or you should. And um, is that the Freeport one? Okay, maybe that's a different. I, I went to so many different places by water and land and air and all that stuff. So this, this one is the existing one by Sac State that they propose to expand. This one, I believe, is the Freeport just up close. Um, here is the other one north of the I Street Bridge. Um, here is an example. Uh, I wanted you to see that uh, the Dreams Report Phase 2 uh, talked about this armored pathway and that included uh, doing some levee improvements and dirting, diverting the water uh, down this Aram Colme right past uh, Empire Tract and we're going to talk about that one more. But that matches, oh, let's see if I can make it bigger. You can see that um, right in here. Um, it, here's, here's a delta cross channel, and the water goes through and comes down to the pumps down here. And the question is, what do you do with the water? You don't want it to escape over this way. So they this particular plan calls for, uh, let's see if I can make it big enough so you can see it. Okay, so you see that this is the four gates or five gates project that uh, if they do that would be terrible for certain areas of the this, uh, this part of the Delta, especially Discovery Bay. Uh, we're going to look at more ab about that one, how the element, some of the elements of this particular project are being built right now. So one of those elements um, is, is to uh, widen this area for expert ports, and that includes the McCormick-Williamson Tract. Even though McCormick-Williamson is billed as a restoration project, it is um, actually going to receive the flood waters when uh, Folsom uh, South Canal and the Folsom Dam gets expanded. And one of the, the projects is to um, change the levees on Dead Horse Island. Here's a proposal. Um, they, they they would also subdivide Dead Horse Island while they're out of, uh, at it. And here's the project to uh, 
used to be called uh, NDIP or North Delta Improvement Project and it was part of the conveyance planning of CalFed in the year 2000 to 2004 and then they renamed it uh, a uh, restoration project and um, we, we've been seeing a lot about this particular project and they're, they're going to set back levees. Here's New Hope Landing by the way and um, this is the Delta Cross Channel. They talk about expanding it and this is where the Meadows is. So that's a project we're hearing about. They've been planning that for a long time. It is a conveyance project. They just changed the name to a uh, restoration name even though it's a conveyance project. Okay, so um, I am going to shift over to uh, a couple of these projects here in the Delta. I was just talking about something at the uh, Delta Cross Channel right there. Um, that's the North Delta uh, changes. I want to look at this spot right here. This is on em Empire Tract and that's another um, intake that has already been built. It is right there. You can see that's a nice aerial photo that was uh, a Delta person took for me and gave it to me and um, it is built. It's not turned on. You can go the drive to the end, end of Empire Tract and you can see it better but it's got fences all around and they uh, I've tried to go there two times and they've got guards. They don't let people go there. And then let's look at the one below. This is the one on Victoria Canal. These are built. They're not turned on yet but they are built. And um, what's kind of interesting about those two projects is that that uh, Dreams Phase 2 report talks about uh, having water siphoned under a river. And so this photo right here, well this drawing, I think I'll enlarge that one too, so, so you can see it better. Um, it refers to right here this drawing that's like that's how they would take the water and have it go underneath the San Joaquin River from Empire Tract and and possibly have it go over to Bacon Island for in Delta storage or um, over to maybe the export pumps at Clifton Court for Bay that's not clear where that goes so um, maybe it just goes right back into uh, Old River San Joaquin River for export um, so here's a picture I took. It's pipes. Oh, I'm not sure if that's one of my pictures. It's um, pipes are going on uh, in in different places. They're going um, on Empire, Tr Empire Track. We saw pipes uh, go in. We also saw them uh, go in. Um, I went over to Bacon Island in those areas and saw a lot done. Um, and th there, here's another map. I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger. These are all things that are built. This is not proposed down the road. They just haven't all been turned on. So here is a map from um, planning from about 2004, and it talks about an intake, um, basically about um, Randall Island or Greens Landing area. I think that it is, and that was. SCWA alternative intake and then we've got other alternative intake and then Contra Costa has their alternative intakes and um, Coast Mud alternative intake uh, that's where the intake on Empire Track ended up being and um, then we have another alternative intake referred to in uh, Los Vizqueros that's another one Vicaros Reservoir that's already been expanded so um, a lot of this, so, so I'm saying this stuff has been done. This isn't something that's going to be done. They are done. So I'm going to re reduce back down so we can see where we are. Okay. Um, let's see where else. Oh, uh, here here's a picture. Actually, this picture right here. Okay, so yeah, that must have been one of my pictures because it doesn't refer to a website, but I don't recall taking that one. Anyway, um, here's a picture from the Contra Costa website. This shows one of the tunnel boring machines. And this is um, that uh, Victoria Canal new intake. It shows how the water drops. It's this huge suction. The water drops down and then gets sucked under and goes over to wherever it's going from the Victoria Canal um, new water, freshwater intake. 
Um, okay, so I'm going to... Oh. Okay, so I will show you one the one. I know I took it because I'm sort of in it. Um, here are a couple of the pictures uh, along... Um, not too far from Highway 4. This is going along the... Uh, near Victoria Canal and um, oh Jones Tract and all that. <laughs> New pipes have been put in by East Bay Mud and they're huge and they're replacing the old pipes and um, in some cases uh, well for ways it's three pipe, uh, three huge pipes and then goes down to two huge pipes but I want to show you the dimensions of them. They're getting this is on Oralwood Track where these two pictures were taken and that's part of the plans um, to replumb Northern California. Uh, I wanted to go over to other plans so in 2004 this same kind of stuff was uh, called the Echo Crescent Middle River Conveyance Plan by Metropolitan Water District. Uh, what an interesting name. It does have the gates and it does show the same thing, water going through and there's an intake right there and it goes through. We're, so so it's it's kind of following along with what, what they're saying way back then. Uh, even though the Bay Delta Conservation Plan is not approved, the construction of intakes is going on. This photo right here is of uh, improvements uh, to Bacon Island. Uh, uh, I didn't happen to take this photo, but I was told it is the Bacon Island. I went by land and saw that very huge uh, levees have been, um, in the levees at Bacon Island and um, Jones Track and those areas have been greatly improved. Uh, Bacon Island is one of the proposed in Delta water storage uh, facilities so maybe that's what that's for they did ask for new water rights and I know I was at the US Army Corps of Engineers meeting that um, where they were uh, I assume they ended up I did not stay for the end of it they they were talking about approving the plan the EIR EIS for for the work for in Delta water storage um, I wanted to go back to the CalFed preferred alternative from the year 2000. Um, the very elaborate project uh, that most Delta people didn't know was going on. And you can see that it included just all these things that I've been talking about. Uh, the conveyance portion of it was to widen the McCormy to get the water going on down. Uh, at that point in time, they were talking about using this route. Instead, because you can see there's that intake over here, they've gone this route and then gone this way and like this. And that's why the uh, the intake for Contra, Quater, Contra Costa Water District ended up on Victoria Canal over here. And then you've got um, other projects like the, um, the exchange that um, and channel dredging and other projects that the CalFed propose that have already been done. So now I'm going to do, um, again, I wanted to refer these, uh, all of these projects were referred to as um, part of the Delta, whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to get it that large. Let's get, okay, so, um, trying to get it into the right area for you. Okay, there we go. So I wanted you to look at this Delta Improvements Package. Uh, that was from about 2004-2005 and this is what Metropolitan Water District called the same uh, project and it's improved water supply, improved water quality, they talk about ecosystem restoration and Delta levy, levy stuff. Um, so they've been working on all of this. They Nobody's waiting for uh, anybody to approve a Bay Delta Conservation Plan. Um, so all this to say, please pay attention and realize things are a lot more serious than the media says. And the media is not going to um, the mainstream media is not going to talk about it because the people who own those media outlets want the water, no doubt. Anyway, you can get all copies of documents and um, information at savethedelta.org or deltarevision.com. 
and going over to the last issue, the Bay Delta Conservation Plan and um, other habitat uh, restoration projects uh, have also been ongoing under different names. There was a lot of work done in the Sassoon Marsh area that was done under the BCDC Bay Area stuff and they're going to count it for um, Bay Delta Conservation Plan restoration credits. Same thing with Yellow Bypass. A lot of this work has been done. There is a lot of work that they've done enhancements and I have to say there are certain sloughs that are actually really really pretty and um, but this this is ongoing work that's going to be credits for the Bay Delta Conservation Plan as well but this was required for um, the you know to mitigate for the huge decline in fish populations and um, I, I I am so concerned about what's going to happen to Chinook sal salmon that they're uh, experimenting with uh, last year and this year in the Yellow Bypass. It, um, it's pretty scary to experiment with uh, a species that you can make go extinct that easily like what they've done already in other species. Anyway, I did cover uh, a bunch of the intakes and I hope that you go take a ride. Uh, the one up by Red Bluff is the furthest away, but the other ones are worth going to see if you want to know what's really going on. And again, this map right here in the middle shows you the places in the Delta where there are projects or construction going on. Uh, thank you for listening. Bye-bye. Uh,